there's something that uh, I ended up doing. I went down and got some cheap. My wife picked them up for me. Or these are two plus reading glasses, and I have a couple other powers. But uh, for me, these seem to work, and they fit over my glasses, so I kind of cheat. You know, now I, I that's everything's blurry there, but I can get down here, and this gets real nice and clean right at this right here. Maybe that's a little too close. I know Jody sits there and works back like this, you know. His arms are longer than mine, everybody's are. But uh, control-wise, stuff like that, I was having a hell of a time uh, getting it to work. And verdict's still out. I'll just give you a quick peek here. You can see that in there. I took a little 12-volt fan. I'm sure it came out of a computer or some other piece of electronics. I put it on a couple of erector set. Uh, brackets. Ran the wire up here, soldered one side to battery, the other side to the switch around, and if I kick that on, it blows air right down on my master because I got so extremely frustrated with it fogging up. Uh, so far, it seems to be doing the trick. The shop's really pretty cold this morning. I should put a thermometer out here. Oh, I have one on the uh, door opener, garage door opener. Yeah, it's 56. Uh, Byron, <laughs> if you're watching this, uh, eat your heart out. Uh -huh -huh. He has a way, way bigger shop with way cooler tools and toys. And uh, but he has to deal with a space heater and freezing cold because it's a pole barn. And I can't turn it on and off with the gloves on. So, And even though I get the... I can put it all the way down, it doesn't hit the, the hat or anything like that in there, so... I'm kind of, sort of, not really playing. Uh, it may show up already on a video or whatever. I, I took a 12-volt little mini fan there. It's a 40 millimeter by 10 millimeter. Uh, and basically, I just ran the wires up to a switch and soldered terminals onto two 9-volt batteries. And uh, it actually worked pretty nice. Then the, the next step was, I got this 12-volt power supply. I still have to solder the wires, obviously, but... Uh, um, so that blows way better than the 9-volt. Uh, the 9 volts. I wired two in parallel to... Uh, Make it run longer. I had a full day of welding to do and that stuff. So, so right now, so then what I did, and it's rather poorly executed, so I'm not going to bother showing it and that stuff. But there is four screws. You can take it apart. And I read online where, and I and I saw this that the lights were on constantly as soon as you turned the power on. Okay, which means that these LEDs would sit there and drain some of the juice. Um, not a great deal, but it would cut out the longevity. So somebody was talking about putting in a momentary switch. Well, it turns out that I had some, and they were just just small enough. There was a hole here, and it, it broke out in shipping. So this isn't in there extremely well. It's a poor execution. Um, and if this ever fails, I may get another one and do a better job kind of thing. But uh, what I did was I cut the wire to the LEDs, okay, and then put in this momentary switch. So now when it turns on, I can still check it with a push of that and basically I'm just going to take double-sided tape foam tape and stick it up on top of the other one because I have a charger so when I think the helmet you know when it starts telling me that uh, it's going low I'll just plug the helmet in I got a bunch of these pigtails off of Amazon for you know I think it was like 10 or 20 of them for six bucks shipped take this out of the picture now Yeah, like I said, I just simply soldered them. Uh, I knew it was only going to be temporary. I wasn't even sure it was going to work, so... Uh, keeping the air down, stuff like that. I tried it with one battery, and it actually worked, which is why I went ahead and did that. Nope. Then I just put a little twist in it there to hold the heat shrink where I want it. Um, this is pretty cool. I got this, uh, 
Spectron heat wave gun um, works really nice. I, I don't do a whole lot of soldering uh, anymore. Now, I wish it had a three position switch so that you could turn the element off and let it blow cool air for a while. Okay. Oh, God, what a dumbass. <laughs> okay, man. However I manage that, uh, I don't know. If you, if you aren't catching on, I did the red to the black and the black to the red, which means the fan's not going to turn because i got the polarity reversed. Oh, uh, I saw the, the red from the black one there and hooked it up to that one. Uh, 25 watt soldering iron. Don't ever do that. Don't flip the solder on the floor. <laughs> it's my solder and it's my floor, so, you know, I'll do whatever the hell I want. There we go. How about we test it this time before we friggin' uh... I guess it's getting tape. <sighs> Yay! And hopefully this switch is big enough I can uh, do it. The other switch was nice and big. I could do it with my gloves on. I'm going to duct tape it for now because it's a little more forgiving of being able to get back off than the uh, dull-sided tape. Yeah, it could have been longer. You know, and I'm pretty sure that'll hold it. Yep, so I'm not going to worry about uh, putting any more than that on right now. So I want to put some down on the wire there. Okay, so that ought to work. That'll turn the fan on. Uh, I can easily check the uh, how it's going, and then I can unplug that and plug in the charger. Oh, and just one more uh, note here, more or less. If you don't know how to solder, don't want to solder, you could still do that same thing getting these okay they've got screw clamp terminals and you can get them in this is the female you can get them with the male as well uh, I have those on order because I <laughs> didn't realize I was getting the right one get didn't realize I was getting the wrong one <laughs> 